We now welcome Michael Shepard from Big Sky Learning, who will show us this effect firsthand. The Clodney plate, named for its inventor, Ernst Clodney. The plate is prepared with a coating of graphite and pollen. Sand is sprinkled on the plate, and the plate is vibrated. Now, Clodney vibrated his plates using an instrument bow. Tonight, I will use an amplifier and a speaker. I apologize in advance for the uh, sound of the Clodney plate. <laughs> Sometimes science is not so easy on the ears. Yes, <laughs> precisely, Chris. <laughs> Would you like to wear these, or shall no, I'm I? No, good. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I, I have some distance. Let's begin with a frequency of 176 pulses per second. It sounds like this. Now, this is a note close to the note F. Let's bring that up to a D-sharp. Now, as Chris said, the sand gathers in the places where the plate is not vibrating. We call these still points nodes. Now, the nodal patterns of different instruments are very different. The nodal patterns of a cello are quite different from the nodal patterns you would see on a piccolo. Nodal patterns vary from note to note as well. I'll show you a procession of increasingly disturbing <laughs> notes. The Clodney Plate. <laughs> <laughs> 